folks, my name is Jeff Larry, and I'm the senior preservationist here at President Lincoln's Cottage. Now, if you've never been to the site, the cottage was home to Lincoln and his family during the summer months of 1862, 63, and 64. And though I encourage you, once things are up and running again, to come and visit the site and learn more about Lincoln's time here, today we're going to talk about the restoration of the cottage vestibule. But first, let's back it up a bit, and I'm going to briefly introduce you to some of the recent history of the cottage and this space. The initial restoration of the vestibule was part of an eight-year effort by the National Trust for Historic Preservation to restore the cottage to its Lincoln-era appearance. President Lincoln's cottage at the Soldier's Home opened to the public in February of 2008. A vestibule, by definition, is a transitional space. It's typically a hall or a small room between the outer door and the interior of a building. And the cottage has seen many different uses since it was built for George W. Riggs and his family in 1842. But the evidence suggests that the vestibule has always been used as the primary space one would pass through before entering the cottage. As the restoration was winding down in 2007, the faded remnants of decorative painting meant to imitate wainscot or wood paneling was discovered on the damaged plaster walls of the vestibule. And it was clear that the main cause of this damage was moisture intrusion. So we began a multi-year effort to not just monitor and document the condition of the vestibule walls, but most importantly, take steps to get the water away from the building. If I were teaching a historic preservation class, this one would be called Moisture Control 101. So we installed gutters and downspouts. We regraded around the vestibule so the ground would slope away from the building. And then, after discovering a few pieces still in place, we returned all of the missing bluestone that was originally found at the base of the vestibule walls. By late 2014, we were ready to enter the next phase of the project, trying to figure out what the decorative painting on the walls actually looked like. So remember, the faded remnants of decorative painting that were uncovered in 2007 were meant to imitate wainscot. And you can see here, the outer frame of the wainscot is darker than the center panel. But this is just the base coat, and it doesn't really tell us what type of wood the painter was trying to imitate. So we brought in a conservator to do an exposure. And an exposure is when you carefully remove layer after layer of paint until you expose the historic layer that you're trying to learn more about. Now getting this exposure was really great for us because it confirmed what we had sort of suspected all along and that was the painted wainscot on the walls was presented as two different types of wood. So if you see this darker area here, if you can imagine the, the frame of that panel well, that was presented as walnut. And then this lighter area here, that's the center of the panel, that was presented as white oak. And then this is the point where the wainscot meets the wall, and the walls were painted mauve, sort of a reddish-brown color. And the ceiling was painted light blue. And this is the point where the mauve wall meets the light blue ceiling. Now, by the summer of 2019, we'd been monitoring the walls in this space for almost five years, and we felt confident that the steps that we had taken to control the moisture intrusion had been successful, and that we were ready to proceed with a plan to restore the vestibule and bring it back to how it might have looked during Lincoln's time. And to do this, we started here. At some point in the late 19th, early 20th century, a concrete floor was installed at the base of the stairs. And one of the great mysteries was what type of flooring was there originally. Was it brick? Was it stone? Was it wood? And then in early April, we completed the removal of the floor, and we were able to solve 
that mystery. It was a wood floor. Now this picture shows a piece of the original tongue and groove flooring that we uncovered and are now working to reproduce with reclaimed lumber from an 1850s farmhouse. How cool is that? We were also able to confirm that this wood floor, which was built on a wood frame, was about eight inches lower than the later concrete floor. Next up, the staircase. We really need a haircut. Okay, um, so as mentioned, the first component of this project is the staircase and the landing. So we've removed the modern staircase and I'm gonna head up to the landing. Now we know this landing uh, is not original. Uh, this landing was put in probably in the 1950s. The original landing was about eight inches lower. So you would have passed through the doors that are normally here, and I'll talk about that after, and you would have stepped down at this point right here. Um, they probably did that for, for safety reasons. But also, unfortunately, when they raised the landing up, they reconfigured the entire staircase and remove all of the original trim work um, around the staircase and the vestibule. So we will not be uh, bringing back the lower landing, again, for safety reasons. But we will be bringing back all of the trim work and baseboard in the vestibule, and it will match all of the trim work of the main staircase in the entry hall. All right, and the third component of our vestibule project is returning the entry hall doors to their original swing. So if you remember when the landing was raised up in the 1950s, they changed the door swing and the doors were made to swing into the vestibule. But originally, you would have come in the front door, walked up the steps onto the landing and the doors swung into the entry hall, which is where I'm standing now. And it's really a much more natural sort of feel and swing to the doors. And you can see them behind me. They're just kind of propped up in place because we're, we're still working on them. Uh, also included with this will be the reconfiguration of the transom bar above the doors because that was changed when they changed the door swing. And we've figured out what the original lock set was on the door. So if you happen to have a very large rabbited mortise lock lying around your house, please let me know. Well, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for your support and for your interest in our vestibule project. I am really looking forward to getting back to work on this. Um, I hope you all are well. Thanks.